Hey Wando and Lucy Beckham students, I'm Anthony Malavade and this is East Cooper Student News. Here's what's coming up on the show today. We talked to a Wando student about his role in the tragedy of Macbeth on Apple TV and the CAS named its Teacher of the Year. Plus, we've got everything going on at your home school. It's February 2nd, 2022. East Cooper Student News starts now. Welcome to ECSN. As we enter February, I hope everyone's enjoying their new week of classes so far. Some may recognize the title Macbeth referenced in their English classes, but one student took reading one of Shakespeare's iconic plays to the next level. ECSN reporter Anders Engelby sat down with Lucas Barker, who's in the new movie called The Tragedy of Macbeth on Apple TV. Lucas Barker may seem like your average Wando sophomore, but when he is not in school, he spends a majority of his time acting starring in everything from Criminal Minds to Netflix's Ratched to skits on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Barker has an impressive lineup for an actor his age. One of his most notable roles is also his most recent, in which he plays Fleance in Joel Cohen's film adaptation of Shakespeare's Macbeth, The Tragedy of Macbeth. After its initial theatrical release in December, Barker garnered the attention of fellow classmates after an article was published to Wando's website congratulating him. A couple of my friends from robotics over here found out and they were like mind blown. And I guess that makes sense. But in LA where I previously lived, the school I went to was almost entirely actors. Lucas moved from Los Angeles to Charleston around a year ago because of the pandemic, but that didn't stop him from landing the role in Macbeth. Filming movies in the age of coronavirus did add some complications. The production stopped for several months, but Cohen set up the film to be shot in only 36 days and on sound stages to combat those issues when they returned to filming. And we were the first movie back on the Warner Brothers lot to go back after COVID, which was kind of interesting because there was no one there. And days before we actually went onto the set, we had to do two tests a day. And every day we were on set, we had to do a test. And obviously there was tons of protocols and social distancing and masks. It was very safe. They did a really good job making it safe. The shortened production time wasn't the only thing that created stress for Barker. Working alongside big names such as Denzel Washington, Francis McDormand, and Alex Hassel also was a nerve-wracking experience. I'm just trying not to freak out. I'm trying to, um, to keep my cool around everyone, kind of act like I've been in the business for as long as them. <laughs> they were really welcoming to me. I mean, they treated me as if we had been working together for ages. But they haven't been working together for ages because Barker is just a kid, and he was reminded of that fact every day when Hollywood made him go to school. So what's great about being on set is that you actually are required to do three hours of school a day. And we have a studio teacher. So in LA, I was able to get a majority of my work done, but it's a lot of work keeping on top of all of it. While tackling schoolwork of his own, it also crossed his mind that someday high school students who read Macbeth may end up watching his movie in class. It's crazy to think that like students um, in the future could be watching this film, could be seeing this new take on it, which, um, and I think is actually going to be really good for education because it's really closely adapted to the original. His film might be shown in classrooms someday, but for now, Lucas is walking the halls like every other Wando student. Until his next big role, you can watch Lucas Barker in The Tragedy of Macbeth right now on Apple TV+. This has been Anders Ingleby reporting for ECSN. Thanks, Anders. For his fellow peers who may also be interested in a career in acting, Barker says sign up for classes in film or TV and don't worry about how long it takes for you to land a role. If you've been to the CAS Fab Lab, you would know Miss Bile. She's always helping students create everything from jewelry to Lego sets. Plus, she collaborates with all the teachers at the CAS to do some really cool projects. That's why she was named the CAS Teacher of the Year. Oh my gosh, I am in complete and utter shock. I really did not, I knew it was a possibility, but I guess I didn't mentally prepare enough for this moment. Um, I just love working here. Everybody here is so amazing. It's a joy to come to work every day. The reason the library program has done so well and kind of exploded is because of all the teachers. Um, they are so willing to come to me, send kids to me, do collaborations with me. Um, so without them, there is no me. There are so many more people that help make our school run smoothly. And few things are more important than making sure each class has the supplies they need. Miss Beakley is the CAS book bookkeeper, and she was just named the Classified Employee of the Year. I was so surprised. 
I was not expecting this at all. Um, as Jason said, all the support staff are just amazing. We help each other out all the time. Not only the support staff, but also the administration and the teachers. I mean, they just work with us so well. And um, it's just an honor. I'm just, I still don't know what to say. I'm so surprised. Congratulations to both Ms. Bile and Ms. Beakley. Over at Lucy Beckham High School, there's a new teacher of the year. ECSN reporter Amelia Chico has that as well as some upcoming events in today's Bangle Bee. Hey Beckham students, I'm Amelia Chico and this is the first Bangle Beat of 2022. Miss Forrester is off to a great start in 2022. She was just named Beckham's Teacher of the Year. She works with exceptional needs students and was recognized for her great efforts this school year. I have to say when I was presented with this honor, I just felt so surprised and humbled by it. I believe that I get to work with some of the most amazing people here from the support of administrators to the outstanding faculty and staff and I get to teach such incredible students as well. Um, so I just feel very blessed to be part of this Bengal family here at Lucy Beckham. Um, and it's just been an incredible joy and honor to be named the Teacher of the Year. Congratulations to Ms. Forrester. Beckham has some big events coming up this month. First, Project Lead the Way's Biomedical Club is hosting a blood drive on February 15th from 9.30 to 2.30. You can make an appointment by scanning the QR code. Every donor will receive a blood donor t-shirt and a $10 charitable donation will be made to One Beckham Foundation. Lastly, Beckham's first college fair is coming up on February 17th from 6 to 7.30 in the atrium. That's all for today's Bangle Beat. We'll see you next time. I'm Amelia Chico, signing off. Thanks, Amelia. Wanda also has some big things coming up in February, including the annual Wandathon. Katie Miller has more. Hey Wando, I'm Katie Miller and this is Tribe Talk. First things first, Wando's semi-formal is back and it's coming up this Saturday at the South Carolina Aquarium. The semi-formal dance is from 8 to 11 Saturday night. A different kind of dance is also coming up later this month. Wandothon is Saturday, February 26. The purpose of this event is to raise money for the Sean Jenkins MUSC Children's Hospital. First off, Wandathon is a great cause. You get to benefit the children and the families at the Sean Jenkins Children's Hospital. It is also a great way to earn service hours. All service organizations at Wando are offering up to 10 service hours for the event. So it's a great way to knock out the service hours for semester two. Um, and it's a lot of fun. We have Zumba at the event. We have Miracle Children from the hospital come and speak at the event. And you get to dance and just have a good time with some friends. So it's a really fun event. Our fundraising goal is $30,000. So a really ambitious one, but with our board, I think we can really hit it. If you want to participate, sign up at wandothonforkids.weebly.com. You can also find the link on the Wandothon Instagram page. Lastly, teacher court. Y'all chose who you wanted to run for teacher court. Now it's time to vote for who you want to be Wando's teacher king and queen. Make sure to check your emails on more details on how to vote. That's all for this episode of Tribe Talk. Have a happy Wednesday. I'm Katie Miller, signing off. Here at ECSN, we are trying out a new segment. Some of you may know the hit interview show, Hot Ones with Sean Evans. It's a show where celebrities answer hot questions and eat even hotter wings. We don't have celebrities, but we do have some willing teachers. Here's our version of the show called Hot Takes with Caesar Anquist. Oh, I need another piece of chicken. I don't know if you want these napkins. They've been all over my head. Oh yeah, that's hot. Mm. <clears throat> that one's hot. Some bread? Bread? Yeah. You can eat bread? Yeah. No, I don't want bread. That's cheating. All right. Fine, then. Whew. You ready? No. Yeah, too bad. Um, All right, go ahead, Mr. Producer Man. It's terrible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's legit. I might buy this. This one's really good. The boys over at Hoff's are awesome. Or girls. I want you to name three staff members that you want to nominate for this. I'm going to go with uh, Dr. Brazzini, Ooh, okay. Mr. Sneed, mm -hmm. and Mr. Banker. Mr. Fabiano. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <coughs> oh my God. If you want to see the rest of the show, you can find it on our YouTube page and Instagram. If you have suggestions for which teachers you would like to see, message us on Instagram. 
That's all for this week's show. If you like the show and you want to be a part of what we do here at ECSN, scan the QR code on your screen to apply. After you apply, make sure to talk to your counselor and register for media technology at the CAS when it's time to pick your classes next year. Have a great week. I'm Anthony Mullivade, signing off for ECSN.